Okay, this is going to be my Foley catheter um, insertion video. First, we're going to go ahead and take this out. There, we're going to use this as a trash bag. And then also, um, I have a trash can right over here on the ground. So what I'm going to start off with is I'm going to go ahead and open this, um, making sure not to crush the sterile border. Okay, after this, we're going to move on to putting our sterile gloves on. Because it's sterile on sterile, I can touch and fix my gloves as I need to. Trash that. Okay, once we're done here, we're going to grab the drape. We're going to open it up. And we're going to place the shiny side down closest to the patient. Okay, once we're done with that, we're going to grab the finstrated drape, put it in trash. You can use it if you need to, but I'm not going to. Um, if I were to use it, I would use it on a male patient and I would Make sure that I do not cross or do not um, touch the patient um, and I would maintain sterility. Once we're done with this, we're going to grab the little box, move it to the side. Okay, then after that, we're going to go ahead and grab the beta dime. We're going to go ahead and open this, pour it onto our cotton balls, trash it. And then once we're done with that, we're going to go ahead and grab the lube right here. And then I would go ahead and pour the lube or push the lube into this little container over here. Okay, once we're done with that, I'm going to go ahead and grab the saline a solution syringe and I'm going to go ahead and connect it to the port over here and then once we're done with that I'm going to go ahead and remove this throw that in the trash and then after this I'm going to go ahead and lube up my catheter um, I would do one to two inches for a female or uh, five to seven inches for a male and that concludes I'm going to talk about how to clean the male and female genitalia um, so for the females, what you want to do is you want to use your non-dominant hand to go ahead and spread the labia apart. And this hand is now contaminated. So you're going to keep your sterile hand and you're going to go ahead and grab a cotton ball with the forceps. And what you're going to want to do is grab one cotton ball and clean one side of the labia um, from the top down to the anus. Uh, throw that cotton ball away. Then you want to go ahead and grab another cotton ball and then you want to go ahead and um, clean the other side of the labia top to bottom. Throw that cotton ball away and then after that you want to go ahead and grab another cotton ball and clean from top to bottom down the middle um, all while you know making sure that the labia stays open via your hands um, now for the male is what you want to do is you want to hold the penis up um, with your non-dominant hand um, using a slight traction and the next thing you want to do is you want to go ahead and grab the cotton ball um, with the forceps and clean um, around you want to do it about three times with new cotton ball each time you want to start at the urinary meatus and then go down to the glands penis and then you should be good to go um, the bifurcation of the catheter is right here where the tube splits and it is important because um, for the male you would go ahead and insert the catheter all the way up to where the bifurcation is. So for this video I'm going to talk about uh, inflating and deflating the catheter balloon. Um, so whenever you put it on you would have on sterile gloves. Um, just for the sake of this video I'm going to have on clean gloves because whenever you take it out you would have on clean gloves. So what you're going to do is you're going to take your syringe and then you're going to take your catheter I'm going to hold this up while we do this whole thing. So you're going to want to connect it to the port. And then you're going to want to go ahead and squeeze the saline in there. Um, constant pressure. Okay, when you get down to the base, you can go ahead and disconnect it. Um, so this would be your um, filled balloon. And then what you want to do, like I said, so to... Um, Fill it up, you would have on sterile gloves. Um, to deflate it, you would have on clean gloves. What you're going to do to deflate is you're going to make sure that your uh, plunger is nice and good. You want to go ahead and pull it back half of a milliliter. And then what you want to do is connect it here. And then um, just like gravity do the work. This is going to deflate and this is going to go ahead and fill right back up with the solution. So it makes a cute noise. And then um, that'll be all for the procedure of putting it in and taking it out. Um, now for females, what you want to do is um, you would inflate it whenever you um, see the catheter in and then you see a flash of urine return. And then you want to go ahead and advance the catheter uh, one to two more inches. Um, for males, you're going to inflate the balloon whenever um, you stick the catheter in up to the bifurcation right here, this little Y area.
Okay, so this is the process of collecting um, a sterile urine sample. Um, so what you want to go ahead and do is have a container down here, have your sterile cup here, go ahead and place it um, face up. What you're going to want to do is have this container down here to catch the excess urine flow, um, also to prevent any kind of spills. So what you want to do is you want to go ahead and um, unclamp this part, and then you're going to want to go ahead and unclamp this. And then as a urine slowing, you can catch it right here. And whenever this fills up, you want to make sure not to touch these two. Um, whenever it fills up, you can clamp it back and then clamp this. And then go ahead and place the cap on. And then you want to go ahead and label the container. Um, this is a video to explain how to collect urine from a catheter that has been placed for more than a day. So what you want to go ahead and have is your syringe, um, a big enough syringe so you can get all the urine that you need your specimen cup and uh, make sure you have on gloves and goggles. So what you wanna go ahead and do is you want to go ahead and clamp the tubing, um, do this according to hospital policy. And then once you're done with this, you want to go ahead and find the little blue um, port right there. And then you want to go ahead and clean it with an alcohol wipe, um, wait till it dries and make sure that it does not touch um, the patient or the patient's bed sheets or anything else. Uh, just, it's already sterile at that point. Um, once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and attach a lure lock um, syringe and pull up the urine that you need. Once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and get a syringe and push it into the um, specimen cup, making sure that the syringe does not touch the inside of the cup. Um, once you're done with that, you can go ahead and grab the lid and place the lid on the specimen cup. Once you're done with that, you can go ahead and unclamp the tubing, um, making sure that there's no kinks in there and make sure that the urine is flowing into the bag. And once you're done with that, you want to go ahead and secure the uh, catheter back in place. Okay, this is a video to show how to um, attach the catheter to the uh, stat lock. So what you wanna go ahead and do is go ahead and make sure that this is open. Um, you want to go ahead and place the catheter in like so, like that. And then after this, you want to go ahead and close it Make sure you hear that the you make sure you hear the click, and then once you're done with that, you're going to want to go ahead and prep the skin according to um, the directions on the stat lock. So you can go ahead and prep the skin like this. You want to go ahead and place it on the inner thigh, um, so you can peel back the um, sticker pieces, place it there, and then make sure that there is no tension on the catheter.